I'm Marianne Cushy, and this is your morning update for Tuesday, March 30th. A new vaccine site is opening this morning in Mountain View. The location was chosen specifically to help serve communities which have been most impacted by the virus. This is one of three new sites opening up across the county this week. Vaccine eligibility will expand to include those 50 years of age and older, and then on April 15th, everyone 16 years of age and older will qualify. For the third time this month, the vaccine site at the Del Mar Fairgrounds is temporarily closing tomorrow, Wednesday, because of low supply. The closure will last Wednesday, Saturday, and Sunday. The county says Scripps has only received about a third of the doses they requested. Today, we will get an update from the state on our county's tier metrics. San Diego is in the red tier now, but two of our three metrics already qualify for the less restrictive orange tier. It's just our case rate is holding us back. Last week, it was 5.5 for every 100,000 people. It would need to drop below four to qualify for that orange tier. More North County students will soon be going back to class almost full time. The San Diego Union High School District voted last night to offer students four days per week of in-person learning starting after the district spring break on April 12th. Full time distance learning will still be an option for any student who does not feel safe returning to class. The upper level of Golden Hall is reopening to help shelter San Diegans experiencing homelessness. It had been closed because of physical distancing requirements. The upper level has 146 beds and it's designed for families and children. The lower level of Golden Hall is already serving 324 adult men. And San Diego's mayor has just announced some new changes to reduce homeless encampments. Moving forward now, he wants law enforcement and city crews to take on a new approach. That includes offering people shelter before cleaning up encampments and making it easier for people to reclaim their belongings. Clear and consistent signage will also be posted for cleanup times and police presence will be limited during those cleanups. And there are now more than 700 migrant children being housed at the San Diego Convention Center. A second group got there late last night and more are expected in the coming days. All of them are girls between 13 and 17. We're also told 32 of them had tested positive for COVID-19. That's in addition to 33 girls from the first group who also tested positive. Those girls have been separated from others. Officials say they are not showing any symptoms. Yesterday was National Vietnam Veterans Day, but the governor has proclaimed today to be Welcome Home Vietnam Veterans Day across our state. The event is an effort to honor veterans who may not have gotten the warm homecoming that they deserved. We will continue to bring you the latest news right here at NBC7.com and on TV. And you can also learn more on our podcast. That's today in San Diego, where we talk about the day's biggest headlines in less than five minutes. Stay safe, everybody, and have a great day.